everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in for another video so today i'm going to be doing a very highly requested makeup tutorial because the streets the streets they have been dying for it okay so many people have asked me to film the makeup look that i've done in my last hair video so i thought i might as well do that um let me just cut this intro short right now because I know I can ramble on and I'm going to get right into it. So usually I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pore thing. This will focus. Yeah, it's dirty. But anyways, I use that to prime. And But because I'm not going anywhere and as you can see is a small version because, you know, we don't have the coin. But yeah, I'm just going to be powdering my face, which is what I do religiously after I prime anyway. So I'm just going to go and do that now. I powder my face using the Fenty Beauty um, powder in honey. And I'm going to powder everywhere. I really hope my foundation is not finished. Because the foundation I used in this video in the video was my Fenty Beauty one. And I've been using that a lot just because I don't really want to use my NARS um, foundation when I'm not going anywhere. Cool. So I just start off by spraying my brush. I just used this spray. Oh, if it will focus. It's like a um, hydrating facial mist because my skin has been quite dry recently. So I just spray this on my brushes before I use them. And I'm just gonna try and dot the foundation all over my face. Okay, so there's, there's still some, there's still a little bit left. I'm not gonna use that much. Just gonna blend that out. And um, I'm so sorry if you can hear my mum's TV in the background. Hopefully you can't, but our rooms are very close together, so. And don't forget your neck. And I'm, I apologise if I keep looking up, because basically I'm supposed to be looking in the camera, but I'm looking at the, like, mirror thing above it, so my eyes... So next I'm going to go in with my um, concealer. This is the concealer closer to my shade just because um, when I use a brighter concealer after I don't want it to be like ashy or anything. So I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in. That is the wrong shade. This is my contour shade. Be right back. I've got the right shade now um, in Deep Cool. And I literally just put it under my eyes um, and what I let that set for a little bit just to like build up on the coverage and whatnot whatnot so I contour using the um, Fenty Max stick the Fenty Max stitch stick why can't I speak Fenty match stick in ebony mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I do put on quite a lot because my face is round. Not that that's a bad thing, but you know, it's just a bit round. Okay. I'm gonna blend out my contour, spray my brush again. Blend up.
And I'm gonna blend out my my concealer. Blended. Well, after I've blended that out, I'm gonna go in my, with my Fenty Concealer, Fenty Beauty Concealer in 380. Mm -hmm. Just generously apply that. I mean, I can't lie to you, it is light, but um. It's not that deep. It's not, it's not that serious. It works for me. That's all that matters. Right. And then, like I done with the first layer of concealer, I'm going to let that sit for a little while and set my contour. Set my contour using the LA Girl, some LA Girl, uh, some LA Girl powder that I got like 10 years ago, if I'm like ages ago. I can't even remember where I bought it, but it's dark, so use it to contour. Oh yeah, make sure that you guys like, comment and subscribe because I usually save that for the end of my video but more time people don't even make it to the end of the video for whatever reason but yeah so I'm gonna start saying it like towards the beginning so yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe because it's free okay clicking that button has never killed anybody I promise you that I promise you that make sure you do that to keep me happy thank you <laughs> And you see right now it, it looks a bit it looks a bit like it looks a bit scary but trust me it ain't that bad it ain't that bad because what we finna do get your foundation brush now and you go over it okay yeah that's what you do to make sure that it's blended because it's actually 2020 and the ashy flashbacky whatever look just isn't cute no more like and yeah unfortunately guys i don't do my eyebrows i actually can't remember the last time i've drawn on my eyebrows like it's been quite a while i just can't i cannot be bothered to do that no more i can't maybe if i'm going like out out like a special occasion or something i'll you know draw them on but i haven't been i just haven't felt the need to do that in a while and whenever i like put concealer on i always drag it to like the sides of my nose because that just like snatches it that much more i feel like i'm talking like i'm a makeup artist and i'm really not but i'm just explaining why i do what i do and because it works for me you know so i feel like that is blended enough and i just go over my contour with my foundation brush just to further blend it out make sure everything is seamless but i don't go over my highlight with it because you know we want that highlight to be bright that's why we use such a a bright shade you know so now i set oh, oh, my boyfriend is calling me hello i'm filming um, 
Yeah. I know, I know you are, but I have a question. What's your question? Alright. So, oh, I don't know if I said this already, but this is Ben Nye Banana Powder. I feel like nobody uses this powder no more, like, but I stand by it. It does the job. And, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what they say. But anyways, I go in and set my highlight there. And I can't lie to you, I use quite a lot of powder because I just, I just like the look, the look that it gives me, the finish it gives me. So my camera decided to overheat, don't know who gave it permission but anyways, um, I literally just um, wiped away the powder that I put on my face and applied lashes. Now I'm going to go in and contour my nose. So I literally used the Ebony um, concealer again, matchstick I mean, and I just wiped some of it on this brush. Just draw out where I want the contour to go. Don't like to put too much. And then I go in and I blend it. These, these are the same lashes that I, was, uh, that I was wearing in the other video. That's why I put them on today. But I feel like they're the hardest lashes that I had to stick on for some reason. I don't know why. Once after I finish contouring. I go in with a little bit more, a, a little bit more powder and just snatch my nose just a tiny bit more so I literally just keep it in this area here and this ladies and gentlemen is what makes you look like you've just had a nose job okay yeah so i just leave it in that area done and then i'm gonna go in and bronze i'm pretty sure everybody's new like favorite bronzer right now is the fenty beauty bronzer in mocha mocha mommy all over my cheeks where I contoured mm. and I feel like you actually can't put too much of this product on for some reason like literally I, I'm quite generous and it never looks like it's too much just kind of put it next I'm gonna go in and put my mascara on I'm gonna do that off camera because everybody knows how to put mascara and I'm gonna come back for the highlight which I feel like was the like main part of that look that everybody loved so I'm gonna put on my highlighter and my lips and then it's a wrap okay cool so now it's time to highlight so I use the how many carrots highlighter Fenty this is like a small version because I didn't know if I'd like it and I actually use it with my finger because I feel like it's easier to use it with my finger and then I just pat it kind of where I want it I don't put too much on because obviously how pigmented it is put some on my nose and my cupid's bow and, and on the other cheek And then I literally just blend it out with my finger as well. But yeah, I really try not to put too much on. Because when you put too much on, you look... You can actually look a bit crazy. So I know I do have more on this side on, than the other side. But it's not that... The difference isn't that deep. So I'm just going to blend out the one on my nose. Don't want it to be too... 
too hard. And I think in the video I had it on the, my inner tear ducts as well. I'm just going to put a little bit more there and just lightly tap. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Sorry if my hands are dry. But yeah, so that's the highlighter done. I hope it doesn't look too crazy on the camera. On my mirror it looks fine though. And now time for lips. For my lip, for my lips, I just use some brown eyebrow pencil. Literally generic, very generic. I'm gonna be real upset if I watch this back and I can hear my mum's TV in the background because literally guys this is my like I think it's like my no it's my second time trying to film this then I use my NYX soft matte lip cream in London Um, I use the Fenty Beauty Fussy, um, what's it, Gloss Bomb. This is the mini one. It came with the, it came in a set with the highlighter. And I really like this. I'm going to buy this in a bigger size. And just so that, um, I don't really, uh, I don't apply it directly to my lip just because I don't want to change the colour of the lip gloss. So I just put it on the back of my hand. Oh, that was too much. I always do that. Anyways, put it on the back of my hand and dab it on my lips. Oh, ha. Don't know why I said dab. This was a dirty finger. Flip sake. But yeah. Mm. Kind of blend that out. And think i'm pretty sure that this is the end of the look I'm gonna come back um oh set and spray how could i forget spray my face with the morphe set and spray spray mm -hmm. yum yeah so i'm gonna come back once i've done my hair so yeah this is the finished look um i hope you guys enjoyed it like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and, you know, let me know if you like this makeup look. Catch you in my next video, guys. Peace out.